In this video we're going to show you how to do 3D plots that will show you the gradient of a, a scalar field. So we've got a few here already done. So I've taken a, a scalar function here of just two variables x and y. So f is a function of x and y such that it equals cos xy. So that's the cos xy surface there. And on the right hand side we've taken the gradient of that so we've found the del f. So you can see here that the gradient here, the the little blue arrows represent the length of the blue arrows represent the actual gradient of the point and the direction represents the direction of steepest ascent and you can see here that the steepest section of this curve here is going to be coming up through this route there and up through there and up along there and you can see that the arrows are all going to be pointing in the direction towards the top and at the actual top surface along this line here and along that axis uh, the gradient is actually zero, so it means that the, the arrows are, are small along this, these directions. But I've also put in the equipotentials there. So there's a few other ones I've done, and you can quickly have a little look at those. Okay, so now we're going to get into MATLAB and we'll show you how to generate those. Okay, so this is the script I've used here, and I'll show you it working first, and then I'll, I'll go and uh, read through the script for you. So you've got access to this function here called the MATLAB function called gradient.m, so it should be in the resources section. So if you've got access to MATLAB, you can just run that. It says enter a 2D function, so you can just put in whatever 2D function you want. So we'll just do the first one that we've seen in the last page, which is the cos of x times y. Okay, when press return, it should generate those functions. Okay, so there you go, that's generated both those functions. So on the left hand side is the cos xy function, and on the right hand side, we've got the gradient of that cos xy function, which is this function here. And again, you can adjust the angle of that so it looks the same as the, the previous one we looked at and you can adjust the, the angle of that as well so you can see that these two here are just the same as what we have generated in the previous page okay so those are the same are the same as those here okay so it means you can go ahead and you can generate all the rest of these functions and you can generate which other functions you, you happen to want to, to put in. So it only does it for 2D functions because uh, it just shows up the, the, the gradient. Uh, it, it's much simpler to see. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual MATLAB function and we'll go we'll again and see roughly how it works. So we've got a function called gradient, it prompts the user to input the actual value of the function. It saves that value of the function in, in a variable called f and then it plots, plots out the actual function there using the f surf and the limits are minus 22, minus 22 and there's just a few labels here and that light adds the, the actual function into the, uh, the figure. Okay, then you can generate the gradient of the function using the gradient Okay, so that's the MATLAB gradient function there. And then it goes on to figure 2. In figure 2, we generate a quiver plot. It, so it takes this symbolic function that we've put in and it generates actual X and Y uh, components in a matrix for that particular function. And then plots it there using the quiver plot. And I also add in a contour plot as well. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. And there's a few labels there as well okay so not a lot to it so you can get in and have a wee play with that yourself and it's actually quite fun and you're able to generate some pretty cool functions okay so thank you for listening to this i hope the little tools of use i would suggest you go and have a go at it because it really does help you understand some of the concepts so Thank you and goodbye.